So for the iPhone release last week, we did a live stream where I tore down the iPhone XS Max and KK took the iPhone XS and dropped it into an eight foot tall tube of beer. Why did we do this? Well, Apple said that they tested the new iPhones against beer spills, so we just had to put it to the test. So what happened? Well, it lasted for five whole hours at the bottom of the beer tube. And if you look, it's still going. And aside from being a little bit sticky, it seems to be running like normal, but I highly doubt that no beer got inside this phone, so I'm gonna tear it down to find out. So if you saw our iPhone XS Max teardown, there's not gonna be many surprises for you with our iPhone XS disassembly. It's pretty much just a miniature version of the Max. The opening procedure is the same, just some heat and prying, and it opens from the left to the right. The internals look just about the same as the Max with some minor differences. The XS has a slightly smaller Taptic engine and the display connector is positioned differently on the logic board. But there was one major difference and that's the battery. The iPhone X had a single dual cell battery and this year we saw a similar battery design appear in the XS Max. The XS on the other hand has an evolved single cell continuous L-shaped battery. The original iPhone X had a 10.35 watt hour battery, but the XS drops to 10.13 watt hours. Why the drop in capacity? Rectangular battery design allows the material inside to stack nicely. Non-rectangular batteries have more corners, which get put under pressure when the battery expands during use. So the notched corners of the XS battery are responsible for the decrease in capacity, but put less stress on the corners during thermal expansion. So after five hours of the phone being in the beer tube, you'd think that you would find some evidence of beer actually getting inside the phone. But now that we've disassembled it, we checked the SIM card slot, the speakers, just the general the inside of the phone, even the charging port. There is no evidence that this phone went for a swim in a beer tube. So apparently you can drop your iPhone XS in a tube of beer for five hours, but we do not recommend that you try this at home. Remember, we test and tear down your favorite devices so you don't have to. And speaking of teardowns, if you wanna check out a more thorough teardown of the iPhone XS Max, go ahead and click the link in the description below and I'll see you next time.